Welcome to the Murdoch Mysteries Season 15 After Show. I am your host, Michael Cedar, the villain who just keeps on killing. Today, we are going to have some quagmires, some quizzes, and some quips with our amazing cast. Please welcome Shanice Banton, Johnny Harris, and Arwen Humphreys. Welcome, guys. Hi. Murdoch Mysteries has always featured complex female characters. This season, we've seen Hart relax into her job while still juggling a mysterious personal life. Margaret has been battling with her husband in her need to find their missing son. Mm -hmm. While portraying these amazing characters, uh, what's your favorite way in which they advocate for strong women? What I really like about Hart is, first of all, being uh, a black woman um, on, in that time and what she's accomplished in her time. Um, it's just, it, it's inspirational for, for other people watching, for the audience watching, and for me, and for, I'm sure, so many others. So it's, um, I like having that, showing that I could, she could still get where she needs to be, regardless of her color. Amen to that. I think that uh, with Margaret, what's amazing is that her and Brack and Reed are really in a uh, partnership. She's sort of, she's a housewife of the time, which in some ways you would think that, means that everything that she does is sort of within the home. But with Margaret, she's sort of given the license to do anything she wants. And it's actually one of my favorite episodes, and it was a really small scene, but um, the whole, they've been doing the, um, the suffragettes all season. At, and I got a lot of fans, why isn't, why isn't Margaret there? Why isn't Margaret there? And then what I loved was we had a scene where Bracken Reed's going to vote, and Margaret's actually telling him who the candidates are, who to vote for, and I love that because it was like she's it, within that time she wasn't able to vote, but that was her way of voting. And mm. I love that that they let her be a full woman and not be pigeonholed into the uh, role of wife, housewife, whatever. And I love that. And I, yeah, I meet a lot of women who are who are pulling for Margaret. I think Dr. Ogden too, obviously, for the entirety of the show. I think right from the get go, as a, um, a very forward-thinking female character, you know, she sort of she sort of lets us in. She's got a modern-day perspective, even next to Murdoch, yeah. who in some ways is a bit more conservative, and you know, he's in that world and has these beliefs. And in a way, she's our way out of that. She's she's the one who sort of has the more contemporary perspective on things. This season. Sigmund Freud is hauled into the station house. This is my husband, Detective William Murdoch. Ah, yes. You know, Freud's work inspired the famous inkblot tests. Uh, so we've grabbed a few of those classic images, and I want to get your takes on what you see in these inkblots. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's my mom with the belt getting ready to spank me, clearly. <laughs> You guys don't see that? Yeah. Yes, now that you say it, absolutely. Yeah, I was actually thinking something very similar. I was thinking of Batman. Let's see the next one. Oh, we got a bit of color this time. <laughs> Scary why, why murder it? clown. To and me, it looks like two, two guys yeah. in heavy clothing kneeling down, giving each other a high five. Ah, That's exactly totally what I saw. That. They're sort, of, Maybe they're sort of like kneeling down with their heads down doing... Okay, one last one. Let's see what we see here. I see more like a Zen, like a Star Wars kind of Zen mastery thing where he's Ooh. like this, and then the, there's his, his collar is there, and I then his head's that. up top with the, he has whiskers. I think it's, uh, it looks like an x-ray of lungs <laughs> um, that are maybe exploding because what you did as a kid. <laughs> It is time for some Murdoch Mysteries after show trivia. And you're playing for a mystery prize under here that is kind of amazing. Is yes. it an iPod Nano? <laughs> Absolutely not. Mabes. All right, question number one. After meeting Sigmund Freud, Murdoch tries to show off his casual side. What message does he send to Crabtree in Newfoundland? A, what is up? B, howdy. C, bonjour mon ami. I wasn't in that episode. Anyway, okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, okay, and the answer is B. Howdy! Damn it. That's Johnny takes the lead life. with one point. Okay, question number two. What curse does the self identifying witch Minerva West put on the farmer's animals? A. Shrivel their hawks and stop their hearts. B. Dry their milk and sour their meat. Or C. Poison their flesh and burn their eyes. Oh, oh. Okay. And the answer is 
A. Yes! Whoa! I'm excited about that. <laughs> okay. And made art. Question number three. Minerva, the self-identifying witch, yes. causes Bracken Reed with visions of Azazel. How does he reply? A. I'm not sure Margaret would approve of that. B. Same to you with bloody bells on. C. Oi! None of that, Missy. And the correct answer is B. Same to you with bells on. Damn it. Absolutely yeah. no one got it correct. We are still tied with one point all. And I was in that episode, so that's <laughs> yeah, super just, embarrassing. Yeah. Question number four. What does Julia offer to her kidnapper to let her and Henry go free? A, $100. B, a lucky penny. Or C, a signed copy of Murdoch's book? <gasps> what? Okay. The correct answer is A. Yes! $100, which means Arwen wins. Yay! Okay, Arwen, do you want to know what you won? Yes, I do. Inspired by Nick Nurse's appearance this season with all the basketball going on, we have a miniature <gasps> championship trophy. That's so cute. That's so it has cute. real weight, though. Oh. It may look tiny, but feel that. You're gonna, your hands are going to go, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, exactly. Oh you know what? I think this is beautiful and wonderful, but I know that Shanice is a big basketball <gasps> fan, and no. I'm a big hockey fan. So I feel like the more worthy person would be Shanice to get this because wow. she's really going to appreciate so it. Much. You're welcome. Yep. I just want to thank Michael, Johnny, Not Arwen. Arwen. I, yes, and, uh, and the whole crew. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, it is time for a little game on the Murdoch Mysteries After Show. This season, we saw Nick Nurse appear on the show, the head coach of the Toronto Raptors, inspired by his visit. We're gonna play a little game where uh, you're gonna shoot the paper into this strange basket with wheels. Uh, each person is going to take one shot from the first line. Then each person is going to take a shot from the second line. Each of those shots is worth one point. Then there is a much further back sort of third line that is worth three points. You can get a maximum of five points well, first up, we have Arwen, the opening shot. Let's see how we do. Okay. It's pretty far. I know, I know. Wow. But don't do that, because now I'm going to definitely. Yeah. Oh! Okay, oh Arwen's got a point. All right. All right, let's see. Shanice, what do we got? <laughs> oh! No way! Oh, snap! So, Shanice, uh, Johnny, you're up. Exactly. Let's see if you have better luck. <laughs> Wow, oh, okay. Just like that. All right, so we're going it. one line back. All right, move along, cheater. <laughs> All right, Arwen, it's your second shot. Let's see how you do. Okay, I'm all nervous. I'm sweating. I know, fair enough. Oh! That's two. Are two you, for two. Are you Beautiful. Lefty? I am. Shanice, I believe in you. I, I think don't this get is this. I'm walking out. This is, throwing this is it for you. Yeah! Yes, yeah! okay. Shanice is still in this. Johnny, let's see what you've got. Okay, and. Whoa! <laughs> Even with a bit of foul play here. <laughs> okay, oh, guys, final right. shot. Language. This one's worth three points. Barely acting, playing Gillies. Oh! Oh! That's nice. very nice. I take nice. back the Gillies comment. Arwen has a full five points. I got a good basket. Now she got it. Uh, Shanice, yes. you can't win at this point. But would you like to take the shot? Yeah. Great. Yay. Let's see that's it. a team player. That's Absolutely. right, she is. Arwen gave her the thing, now there's all this hey! pressure. Oh. We love it. And Johnny, Nicely last done. up. Nicely done. Let's see what you got, pal. All righty. Why is it so hard for Johnny? Oh, yeah! oh, I don't know how that happened. Oh. Arwen this... wins again. Oh, Arwen wins everything. I'm the winner of the day. It's my winningest day ever. <laughs> and while they just keep chucking clumps of paper at me, I'm going to say thank you so much for joining the Murdoch Mysteries After Show. Happy sleuthing. I can't even hit one with my hands. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much, everyone. Bye. Hey, <laughs> <Yeah>. Bye, Michael. <laughs>